Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, I've had a very hectic day. I'm really hoping that this puzzle is going to be like its title, short, sweet and simple. Um, this came in from Casadilla, who is a student in New Zealand and said, where's the letter, said, um, I'm a high school student from New Zealand in my last year of school, hoping to go to Yale next year to study astrophysics to work for the ESA. Honestly, I can't express how much you've both helped me over the years with your Sudokus. I struggle with depression and Sudoku is something I do to relax. You introduced me to Variant Sudoku and I was addicted. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I mean, that is a story we hear from a number of people and it's still astonishing, but not quite as astonishing as somebody who's thinking that they're almost certainly going to Yale to do astrophysics next year. I mean, good luck to you. Um, and Casadilla also says, I've been trying to get a New Zealand Sudoku team to the international championships for a, a couple of years now, but there aren't any national championships in New Zealand. Hopefully that changes soon, but time will tell. Well, I'm disappointed, but, uh, well, I'm also conscious that one of the best New Zealanders at both Sudoku and puzzles as, uh, has to use their English nationality. <laughs> Um, dual nationality and, and plays for England. So uh, that's, I think, again, because there is no New Zealand team at the moment. So there's clearly talent there, but uh, hard to tap into. Now, um, I'll do the rules of this, and then I'll just do a few bits of intro, and then we'll get on with it. So normal, so there's quite a lot of uh, markings in the grid, and we don't necessarily... Um, advise you to do a lot of different rule sets in your first Sudoku. But that was a very nice letter from Casadilla. Anyway, normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits along a purple line form a set of consecutive digits in any order. That's the Renban rule. So we could have um, eight, six, five, four, seven on that one, for instance, a set of consecutive digits in any order. Adjacent digits al along a green line have a difference of at least five, so that could be one, six, or one, nine, but it couldn't be three, seven. Um, digits in red circles are high, six, seven, eight, or nine. Digits in yellow circles are low, four, three, two, or one. Digits in blue circles are odd. Digits in cells joined by a black dot, this is Kropke, have a one to two ratio. Ah, and all possible black dots are given. So there's a big old negative constraint on the black dots. The inequality cells, but the inequality sign between cells points to the lower digit. So it's as you'd expect, that is greater than that. So those are the rules here. Now let's not forget the negative constraint on the black dots, because I imagine that will matter. Now. On Patreon, it's almost too late to enter the Nightmare Hunt. We've got until 4 p.m. our time tomorrow. Do give it a try, if uh, just to get the first five puzzles done if you haven't started it, or if you're near the finish, whip yourself forward and have a go. Um, and there's also, of course, the Super Mario Brothers Hunt. Um, I think I've put up my, um, yeah, my, my solve of the... Times Monthly Club Special Cryptic today as well. Absolutely crazy puzzle. Um, I have not looked to see if there are any comments on that yet. Um, we to, No, we're two days away from Friday when Simon will do a crossword on the channel, I imagine. Um, but we are thinking about streaming again soon as well. And of course, in the links under the video, you can get to all our apps. All very popular. Some people have bought the whole suite and we are very grateful to them. You can get to um, the catalog of our videos, Sven Sudoku pad, our merchandise, do consider it. But I am now going to have a go at this puzzle. And uh, well done if you've had some thoughts about it while I've been talking. I have not been looking at it, but I'm going to do it now. Let's get cracking. So let's use the black dots Ooh, or this long green line which one are we going to do we're going to use the black dots that is a sequence of four cells that are connected by black dots so we're either starting here doubling to there doubling to there and doubling to there or the other way around 
And I think that means this has to be one and eight on the outside and two and four on the inside. Now, the other black dot in the box has to be three and six. Okay, and that leaves five, seven, and nine in the box. They're on a purple line, so that is a line that contains a sequence, not necessarily in order, but I think that means this has to be a six, eight pair. And we've got a pretty big old start on this puzzle already, and it continues. This black dot can't have a six or an eight on it, and you'll work out from the possible combinations. It's either one, two, or two, four. There is a two on the line, and now this cell can't be a two and must be a four. So we really do get handed a decent start in this puzzle. We can't now have a four in those cells, so it is a one, two pair. Um, There's a one, two pair there and there. So one and two. Oh, well, we've got one, two, three, and four to place in this top row. So actually, we kind of knew that that yellow was going to be low just by doing this, um, this Renban. Now, this is odd, so it's one or three. Um, right, now I was going to look at this green line. Yeah, okay, this has... Okay, the normal things we know about German Whisper green lines are that the digits on them can't include five, which is therefore in one of these cells. Secondly, that they must alternate between high and low digits. So let's just give these some colours to start with. Green and purple hopefully will convert to blue and orange soon for low and high. Now, here is... A blue digit because it's I'm not going to color that cell blue because it would uh, rather mess with the coloring but that is low now whichever of purple or green is low we've now used up all four low digits for this column so these are either five as one of them is or high so this now has to be five seven or nine and this is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Now the other thing we know about these is that six and four can't go in cells which can, whose neighbors can see each other. Because if you were to put a six in this cell, both of those would be a one. So six can't possibly be there. Um, so four, four actually has to be on this line somewhere because it's not in those cells. So one of those two is a four and will be next to nine in this column because that's the only number four can be next to on a German whisper line. And therefore nine is in one of those two cells in the column and now not in these cells. Um, it hasn't quite got me done. Okay, I'm now going to just think about five in this row, which can't be on a green line. So it must be in one of these three. It can't be on that green line either. It's when one of those two cells. And these red circles are high, so it can't be there. So we could actually place five in this row from the absolute beginning. If I'd remembered the rules, that would have been easy. Yellow is low, so that is one or three. And in fact, this is therefore high because the alternation rule. That is six, seven, or nine. Um, and what is this? Red is, okay, there's a high and a low on each of those. I want to call them dars, like morse, but... Um, on each of those two cell lines. There's one high and one low. So it's a bit like this, where there were three highs and three lows. There must be three highs and three lows there. So this is one high and one low in these two cells, but we're actually told that digits in red circles are high. So this is the high, and therefore this one is low. And in fact, therefore, it's four, because four had to be on one end of this line we now know which end is high and which end is low, and 4 is there. That's a 9. I'm going to remove the corner marks from here. Uh, that's 1 or 3. 
Ooh, this can't be three now, this one down here, because three must be surrounded on such a line by eight and nine. So that is one or two. These are from six, seven, eight, fairly obviously. And that, well, that forms a five, six, seven, eight quadruple. This is one, two, or three. Ah, six, seven, or eight on a black dot. Can't be seven. And the six would have to go with a three, and the eight would have to go with a four. Now, this is a five cell Renban line. They always have to have five on. I've just noticed this one as well. Right. This area of eight cells are all different digits. Now, how do I know that, you're wondering? Obviously, the five on the Renban are different digits. But these three digits all see every single cell on the Renban line. They're in the same box as that one and in the same column as these ones. So, what does that mean? This is a high digit as well. It's not eight, so it's six, seven, or nine. This one is high and it's not nine, so it's six, seven, or eight. Now, this is on a Renban with six, seven, or nine. And it can't be five, which is in one of those places in the box. So this is also high. So we've got three of the high digits in the column. And there could only be a maximum of one more here. And that means there is... There has to be a five on this line. Actually, we know where that five goes now that we placed this five. And that can't be a five. That five must go here. There's always a five on a five cell Renban line because every run of five consecutive digits must go through the number five. Now, there's either one or two high digits in these three cells because we know there's one and there's a maximum of one more because of this group of high digits. So therefore, there's either one or two high digits on the Renban and it's either 76543 or 65432. And these digits, mu that can't be an 8. These must come from that range of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But they're not 4 or 5, which have been used in the box already. Now, this pair can't be a 6, 7 pair, or you couldn't fill this cell. So there's no 6 here. It must be an even digit on a two-cell Renban because the digits are touching. One is odd. Sorry, what did I call it? I hope I said even. Yes, one is odd and one is even. Well, this is the even one because that one can't, can only be seven or nine now. So we've got an eight here. That could be seven if this was six, three, two, and four there. In fact, there has to be a four on this line, doesn't there? Because... We can't go up above 8. No, we can't even go to 8. We can't go up above 7. It's either 76543 or 65432. That always includes 4, which is there. And that gives us an 8 on this whisper line. I want to... Th I do think that's a 3. Oh, I've just noticed this is a 7. Ah, so that's a 9. In this row... Oh, I'd forgotten this Renban entirely. One, two. Oh, it's absolutely easy. Three, four, five. We get a six here. This is three or four by Sudoku. And that digit has to be the same as that one because they're both in a quadruple with those three. So that is now... Oh, well, it was obviously three or four because I got that one, two now. Okay, let's have a look in this row. Four doesn't appear in it. So the low digits here are three, two, and one. Hmm. Eight's in one of those. I'm sure there's something. Oh, this pair. It's either two, four, or three, six. This is a triple. I hadn't even noticed this before. So that is two or four. This must either go one, two, four in one direction or two, four, eight. 
R, and this cell can't be 2 or 4. So that one must be the other of 2 or 4. Then both 2 and 4 have to be in this run, whether it's 1, 2, 4 or 2, 4, 8. So they are 2 and 4 in those cells, but actually we've got a 4 there, so we know which way round they go. 2, 4, this must be 8. That 2 is going to connect to 7, 8 or 9. Now, 2 and 4 are pairs in those two columns. So they must both be in this group of three cells. So one of them at least is on the black dot. And once one of them is on the black dot, it's not a 3, 6 black dot, it's now a 2, 4 black dot. And we know exactly how they go. 2 there, 4 there, neither there. Um, this pair is either a 1, 2 or a 3, 6 pair. Don't know which. Um, Hmm, I was going to say this pair of cells needs to have a 6 on, but it doesn't. They don't have to be consecutive at all. 5 is in one of those two cells. Oh, I never used my set of 8 different digits here. Um, well, I mean, this one can't be 4, but that's just Sudoku. So it's not actually that useful, but we're still pointing pointing things out, even if they don't turn into something valuable when we spot them now. We've got a 7 there, so this is 6 at the bottom. Right, I should have seen that. That's a 1. That gives us 3 in the blue circle and 2 here. Now there's no 2 on this line, so it must be a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 line. We've got a 3, 6, 7 triple. This is 1 and 8. They can be placed. Now there's no 1 on this black dot, so it's a 3, 6 black dot. Gives us a 7 here. Finishes box 4 entirely. Um, I can put two more cells in row five. The oh, that's become a four. That's the same as the one in the corner. We've lost all chances to have a three in the corner. No, could still end up with one down there. Um, this is a low digit that sees one, three, and four. So we finish box one. This is now a three, seven, nine triple that will have to be resolved. Six is there. Six, four, five. Right. What can the where is three in this row? It's not over here because of the three six pair, so it's here. That can't be next to seven on the green line. Uh, so now we have a one seven eight triple in this row. Actually the green lines aren't going to really help beyond that pencil marking. Three two six. This is a four five nine triple. This is a 167 triple. Ah, 5 and 9 are looking up at that cell, which is a 7. And now 7 and 1 are looking down at this cell, which is a 6. And we can finish off the column with a 3. Um, we've got to have a 6 on this inequality, just by Sudoku. This is a 379 triple, might as well fill these in. This candidate's got a 2-5 pair there. So now these are going to have to help us. Uh, no, that's not a black dot. Right. Neither of them can be 3-6 anymore because of that 6 and 3 in the bottom row. Excellent. So these have to be selected from the other possible black dot digits of 1, 2, 4 and 8. And this pair can't have 1 or 4 in, so that's a 2-8 pair. This is a 1-4 pair. The 2-8 pair is looking across to the left. What else is that doing? I can see a 6 X-wing between those cells. Oh, that 2 is fixing 1 and 2, and that's incredibly helpful. That makes this the 8-4 black dot. 1 and 2 on the other side. 4-8, that can't be 4, that can't be 8. 1 and 2 up here, not sure what that's doing. This can't be 1. So this is a high digit, and that's a low one. 
which is a 1. 8 is looking up at 6 at the top. 6 is looking back down to 3 in the middle. That can't be a 3 now. This is 5, 7 or 9 in this column. I bet there's something else going here. 8 is looking at that cell. So row 4 is finished. Those are obeying German whisper rules. That's not a 7. This is 3 or 9. So the only place for 4 in column 7 is there. Um, one, seven, five, no, gosh, this is going to matter a lot now. This by Sudoku can't be two, three, four, eight, one, or five. Aha! So that's six, seven, or nine. Well, it can't be nine given the inequality. So this has to be higher than six or seven and is seven or nine. And that is forming part of a 3579 quad. In fact, it's forming part of a 379 triple, which is going to be incredibly helpful. That gives me 5, 6, 1, 7. Thank you, row 7. You've done a lot there. Um, I need an 8 in column 6, which is there. Let's look at the bottom row. 5 must be here now. That's 7 or 9. I'm not going to get a 3 in the corner. This is 3, 7 or 9. Only one place for 5 in this column. Yes, that was fairly obvious. Right. 7 there. I think we're nearly done now. 5 and 9 in column 6 resolve themselves. That's going to do everything else. We do get consecutive numbers on this inequality. Um, that's not a 9. This is 3 or 7. I'm sure this is all unwound by something very obvious. Is it? Yes, you know what I forgot. You've been probably shouting it all the time. I forgot the black dot in a, a negative constraint, which says that this can't be a 6-3 pair, doesn't it? Is that the only place it suddenly matters? I mean, I might have been able to use it before I never thought of it. But now that is going to disambiguate this finish. So that's a 7. That's a 9. That's a 3. Never forget the negative constraint. Never forget any of the rules. It doesn't help solving Sudoku. And there we go. But that is a finish. It is short, sweet, and relatively simple. Thank you very much to Casadilla for both the lovely email and the very... Very approachable puzzle. Let's get rid of my colouring so we can see it in its original glory. There we go. Well done if you got that done. Uh, do have a go at the Super Mario Brothers hunt if you got that done. It's about that standard. Maybe, maybe even a bit easier. But uh, good fun. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Sudoku. Might be some gas tomorrow, I think. But thank you for watching. Hope to see you then. Bye for now.